Second to the um, to the laser itself that changes the curvature of the cornea, which has gotten very technologically involved over time, including this custom wavefront technology that we, we talk about. A, a huge advance was made in both the safety and accuracy of laser vision correction with the advance of a new way of making the flap. As we saw before, most of the, most of the prior to maybe six, seven years ago, flaps were made with a microkeratome. A microkeratome is a bladed instrument similar in concept to a carpenter's wood plane. So it's a flat base with a with a, a aperture and a blade that comes across mechanically, comes across the eye to create the flap. Well, besides the fact that no one wants to have that done on their eye, the idea is not very, you know, desirable. Uh, it did have some inaccuracies and it was fraught with some partic particular complications as one might imagine. Incomplete flaps, irregular flaps, flaps that, that stopped halfway, etc. all of which would lead to delay in and or a bad outcome with laser vision correction. So today uh, we don't use this type technology. We use a different technology which we call interlaced technology. So the intralase is a, is a different type of a laser, and this is the laser that's used to make the flap today. This is an, infra, an infrared laser that, that runs at, at um, 1053 nanometers. It's a YAG laser with a very, very short 10 to the 9 minus 15th, a femtosecond. So this, this, is a, a, this is a tremendous innovation, both in the safety and the accuracy of laser vision correction. Its surgical effect is, is achieved through photodisruption at a molecular level. There's no thermal waves. The laser pulses are, are focused to precise intrastromal locations, and I'll show you this. And vaporization takes place, which, which creates a space in the cornea. And by putting thousands of these little bubbles underneath the cornea at a certain space, a, a flap is created. The space is created that we can make a flap. The way it it's works in surgery is that a suction device is placed on the eye, a cone is lowered into the suction device, the laser is applied through that cone, and the, uh, the measurement of the thickness of the cornea is calculated from the bottom of the glass lens. Tiny bubbles at a certain prescribed distance are applied underneath the cornea. Those bubbles expand slightly, causing a space to form. The space is open just like a space that was made with a blade coming through the cornea. So what happens is with every pulse of laser energy, a, a tiny microplasma is created of about one micron. That one micron microplasma releases a gas bubble. The gas bubble expands slightly, and then the, the whatever fluid is also associated gets, gets released, so a, a space is created. So by placing thousands of these pulses in, for example, in a, in a horizontal manner, we can create a horizontal space that's similar to the space of the flap. In addition, we can create a vertical cleavage plane by stacking the bubbles on top of each other. So once we get to the end of our flap and we want to make it up into the top of the cornea where we can release it, we can make a, a vertical cleavage plane using the same technology, the very same technology.